Hello everyone, this is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. It seems that when doing research on various editions of the Book of Mormon, church history plays a major part on how these editions came to be. The influence of the Book of Mormon and church history seems to go hand in hand. It's certainly the case with this next edition of the Book of Mormon that we'll review today. This is the Book of Mormon paperback edition, printed by the Church of Jesus Christ. This group, not to be confused with the Salt Lake Group, is actually headquartered out of Pennsylvania. In regard to church history, the martyrdom of Joseph Smith caused an uncertainty within the members as to future leadership, as several leaders announced succession afterwards. Sidney Rigdon was the church's first counselor and requested members follow his leadership. Brigham Young was president of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles and brought the matter to a church vote, with most of the membership following his leadership. Most of the saints pioneered west to the Salt Lake Valley, while some stayed behind. Interestingly, some still followed Sidney Rigdon, where he eventually settled in Pennsylvania. Sidney had some difficulty leading this group and eventually disbanded, leaving several East Coast congregations with no solution. Among these followers was a local leader by the name of William Bickerton. He eventually joined the Salt Lake Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, but separated with them when he disapproved of the Mormons practicing polygamy in the West. Bickerton continued leading the Pennsylvania congregations and eventually organized the Church of Jesus Christ. This is sometimes called the Bickertonite Group. I can't do the church history justice, as this is just a quick overview. However, Daniel Stone has done some amazing work bringing this side of the Restoration to light, and I'll refer you to look at his work if you want to see more of this history. Needless to say, the Church of Jesus Christ has continued onward and has their own printings of the Book of Mormon. This glossy red cover Book of Mormon is a missionary edition to be given out to readers. I'm not able to find a printing date nor an ISBN number, but I assume that it's a relatively recent printing. You will see that the book has a title page, like many others, listing the Moroni introduction and owner of the edition. There's also a few pages of church history listing the coming forth of the Book of Mormon by Joseph Smith and through how William Bickerton continued onward with the Church of Jesus Christ. The book has several pages regarding biblical support for the Book of Mormon and also has the testimony of the witnesses. When printing their own edition, the Church of Jesus Christ used a number of other printings of the Book of Mormon and cross-compared each one in order to print theirs. They used the Salt Lake version and our LDS version, and interestingly, they even used the Nephite record from the Whitmerite Church. The book is in double column form, and the verses match the Salt Lake edition. This is partly because the book called the Nephite record that this is patterned to matches the Salt Lake verses also. There are no footnotes at the bottom of the page, and the back has an index that is alphabetical and split according to various books inside the Book of Mormon. I can't seem to find any online bookstores, so editions of these can be obtained by contacting the church directly or going through local congregations. Thanks for watching this video. Please feel free to leave a comment about this edition or any others, especially if there are members of this Pennsylvania Church of Jesus Christ. Please feel free to subscribe as we'll post more videos as time continues. If you have a special or unique edition of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed, please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Thanks.